This is the Employee to Entrepreneur podcast, the show for the family man who's looking to escape the rat race. So if you're a husband or a father, especially a young one, and you're just not feeling it in that job, in that nine to five grind, you're looking to be able to spend more time with your family, just like I was, then you're in the right place. I made this show for you because I am you, or I was you. I'm your host, Brandon Ryan. And today I want to talk about the number one mindset shift that needs to occur when you're making the transition from employee to entrepreneur. And this last weekend, went to a networking event in Austin, Texas, which is a beautiful place, really cool city. I've never been there before. Super hot. It was like 100 degrees the whole time that we were there. But it was a remote sales, high ticket sales space networking event. And guys, you know, anytime that you're trying to grow your personal brand or trying to grow your business, networking is key. It's 100% key because at the end of the day, business is all about people. It's all about relationships, the relationships that you have with your customers, the relationships that you have with your employees, the relationship you have with your partners or investors. It's all about relationships, guys. And that's why one of the reasons why I highly recommend sales as the foundational skill to get you started in entrepreneurship. But I bring this up because I met somebody there that I look up to. And actually, I have known him for a while now online, but had never met him in person. That was actually the primary reason why I went to the meetup. It was his meetup. He was forming it with another guy in the remote sales space. And I really wanted to come out and meet him because he's been a very valuable person for me to know. He's a few steps ahead of me in terms of his entrepreneurial journey. And in fact, I'm going to have him on the podcast here in a couple weeks. So he won't be airing this weekend, probably be the weekend after that. So be sure to check that episode out. You definitely don't want to miss that one. Because when you meet this person, you can tell he's very charismatic. He's very likable. There's just something about him that everybody can tell that he's going to be successful. Like you kind of want to know this guy. You know, maybe you have somebody in mind that you've met before that just is, has that magnetic personality. Well, that's this person, right? That's this person. And he has a book on Amazon. His name is John Cardis. And he has a book on Amazon called Leveraging the Power of Free. Highly recommend you guys go check it out. And it talks about essentially working for free, right? And so, you know, that might be a little bit anathema to quite quite a few people out there. And don't worry, that's not really the mindset shift that I'm talking about with regards to making the transition from employee to entrepreneur. Now, of course, I've talked a lot about mindset shifts on this podcast. When you're going from employee to entrepreneur, mindset shifts are the name of the game. There's so many that need to occur. And in fact, I'm even thinking about writing a book about it someday with each chapter being a different mindset shift. But you see this guy, John Cardis, at his own event, talking to all these sales reps, sales managers, that kind of thing, people in accounts receivable, et cetera. And for every single person that he went up to there, he asked them, how can I help you? How can I add value to you? And he told me that only one person actually uh, asked him the same thing, like reciprocated, which is just kind of mind blowing if you think about it, because usually the default is in life, if you go out and you give people something, oftentimes we as humans are wired to reciprocate, right? If somebody hands you something or invites you to their birthday or whatever it might be, like you feel compelled to invite them to your birthday, even though you might not have consider doing that in the past. And so that's why, you know, I'm wearing Alex Ramosi's acquisition.com hat. If you're watching this on YouTube, you might've been able to see this. And there's a reason I'm wearing that today because I'm going to um, announce a little giveaway at the end of the episode. So be sure to stick around for the end of the episode so that you can get in on that. Don't want you to miss that. But this is what Alex Ramosi does, right? But he does it to like the nth degree, right? He gives and gives and gives and gives. And in fact, he even calls it his own law. He calls it Hermosi law that it, it, the longer you can delay the ask while giving, the bigger ask you can make. And so 
I was reflecting on this after coming back from the networking event and seeing John Cardis in action, really, truly practicing what he preaches by going out and just genuinely trying to help people. And now it makes a lot of sense to me why he's so successful. He has a couple of own, his own companies. He's developed an AI program for sales reps called callrev.ai. I actually use it myself. It's super, super helpful. And in fact, if it's something that you're, you're looking to use, guys, highly recommend it. Even if you're you know, kind of a solopreneur taking your own sales calls, definitely helpful in terms of improving your sales skills. Go to callrev.ai. And if you use discount code Brendan, B-R-E-N-D-A-N, you'll get 20% off your first month. Got to push that in there. Didn't mean to do that. But anyway, I'm mainly telling you this to kind of paint the picture of this is a young guy. Like he's not even 30 years old yet. And he's got multiple companies doing really, really well for himself. And you can tell like this is just the beginning for this dude. And he's truly practicing what he preaches. And I really believe that he is where he is because he executes that so well. And he learned that if you read his book, the the power of leveraging the, the leveraging the power of free sorry he talks about that that his first mentor that he ever met told him to go work for free for for people that he admired people that were where he wants to be so that he can basically learn from them by being around them and so just to see that like to see how much of an impact that's had on his life not only for getting him started and getting those foundational skills off the ground, but also to see him still doing that, even as he's, you know, very successful, is just quite, quite impressive. It really is quite impressive to watch. And so the mindset shift that I'm talking about really is foundational to capitalism or entrepreneurship in general. And it's this idea that you really need to add value you really shouldn't be trying to always be getting something back. It's a very selfish mindset that I think everybody is in. And we actually need to shift our mindset to be actually be more selfless, especially in the beginning, especially in the beginning. Take, for instance, if you were going to be like an online fitness guru or something like that. You know how hard it is to get your first client when you don't have any social proof, any case studies, any testimonials, anything like that? So what is the answer? The answer is to take your first three to five clients and do it for free. Do it for free. Train your friends and family for free in exchange for a testimonial. And in fact, that's what Alex Hermosi would recommend. That's what Alex Hermosi actually did too, right? He did it basically out of charity at first and then eventually converted them over into paying clients and then slowly ramped up his fee. And so that's the key, guys, is that, you know, I think so many of us, when we're trying to build a business or escape the nine to five, kill our jobs, whatever it might be, that we're often operating from such a place of scarcity that we're always trying to get something for our work or whatever we're putting in. But oftentimes, you're going to generate a lot more goodwill and go a lot farther with the right people when you're able to provide value and expect nothing in return. This is almost turning into like a pseudo, uh, you know, moral lecture, if you will. But I think that this is the key mindset shift is not only like that you need to provide value to your marketplace, of course. You know, that's entrepreneurship 101, if you will, right? Everybody should know that. Hopefully everybody knows that. But I think it goes beyond that. I think it really goes beyond that. I think that you need to actually provide value up front before you're paid for anything and not expect anything in return. You know, I think a lot of people do this with lead magnets and that kind of thing, which is something that Alex Ramosi has just talked about. He just had his new book launch, $100 million leads, which is a phenomenal launch. If you didn't get on the live, highly recommend you check out the replay because you can see and feel the emotion of giving away things for free just from that replay. He kind of, I don't want to spoil it for you, but he, he, he did that in, in, that, uh, in that launch, in that book launch, right? And so I think that that's, that's the key, key 
mindset shift that needs to occur when you're making the employee to entrepreneur transition is that you need to approach it from a value first mindset. You need to actually work for free a little bit. You actually need to take on your first clients for free a little bit. You might even need to, for instance, when I first started in digital marketing, what I would do to, that was a very similar concept to um, sell people was I would actually give them leads for free. I was in the market of lead generation, right? So specifically for home services contractors. So we did things like concrete, you know, people uh, building concrete driveways or concrete patios, retaining walls in their backyard and that kind of thing. And what we would do is generate the leads and I would take the leads in myself and act like, you know, hey, this is Gator Concrete or whatever it might be and take down their information, their address, what they're looking to do, um, that kind of thing. And then what I would do is I would go cold call concrete contractors in town. And right from the get go, I had value for them. I said, I was able to tell them like, Hey, I have a couple of people here that are looking for a concrete patio in their backyard. Would you be able to go help them out? You know? And what I would do was from there, you know, establish a relationship and eventually say, Hey, you know, I'm in this situation. I got these leads coming in. I can't take care of these people. Would you be open to working out a deal? where you could take these leads for from me in exchange for a flat fee per month. And that's how I get I did it. it entailed cold calling, but it also entailed providing value up front. And anytime you can do that, that person feels compelled to reciprocate. And it worked pretty well. It really per- worked pretty well. I'm not saying it worked every time because it definitely didn't. There, there are some people that will take advantage of you. But generally speaking, if people have kind of a moral compass, if you will, they um they feel compelled to at least give you something, right? They're at least going to hear you out. And that's key when you're cold calling business owners, right? They're at least going to hear you out, if not actually do business with you. And so that's how I've been able to apply it in my own life. Of course, I'm not in that business anymore. I don't do digital marketing, lead generation stuff. I still have some of my own clients that I just kind of maintain, but I'm trying to exit best I can. But that's the mindset shift that needs to occur, guys. Figure out how you can give as much value as possible up front um, without expecting anything in return and watch the magic happen. Watch your business take off. Watch all of a sudden you start building an audience, gaining raving fans. It certainly has worked for Alex Ramosi. It certainly worked for John Cardis. And I, for one, definitely need to do a better job of that as well. I think I've gotten away from that a little bit in the past. But to that point, you know, I... um. When you went on the webinar for Alex Ramosi's $100 million leads giveaway, in order to get the snazzy hat that I'm wearing, you had to buy the three book package. Now, of course, I don't need three books. I only need one, but they are the nice, you know, collector's edition hardback books. So what I want to do is I want to give it away to a couple of aspiring entrepreneurs. So I'm going to put the link for our free discord group in the description of this video or this podcast down below and for the first two people that jump in join our discord group so that they can network very important to network with other like-minded aspiring dadpreneurs if you dm me in discord dm me your name address etc i will ship you a free collector's book of 100 million dollar leads and if you're not familiar with Alex Ramosi's stuff, man, he always is, uh, I consider him a genius, you know, so definitely take advantage of this, guys. Join the free Discord group so that you can network with us, get to know us, so that I can get to know you, so I can get to know how to better support you, inspire, and educate you so that you can make the transition from employee to entrepreneur, because I really, truly believe that the world needs more entrepreneurs, because entrepreneurs solve problems. And Lord knows we have enough of those. So guys, take advantage of that. Please join me in my Discord group. I'd be so happy to send you a free book. And maybe I'll even throw in an extra little surprise goodie just for those two people. So click the link down below and join us. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'd appreciate if you subscribed and or liked the podcast. It really helps. Or if you're on Apple, please leave us a review. It helps us a lot. So Guys, make the transition from employee to entrepreneur, and I will see you on the other side.